You know what makes a good horror movie even scarier? That little white text that says, based on a true story or inspired by true events, gets me all the time. If you need further proof that truth is indeed scarier than fiction, then get your popcorn ready as we binge watch these eight horror movies based on true stories. What's up, Agnatics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. Keep your lights on till our top pick if you don't want to be traumatized for life. <laughs> Number eight, scream. I guess this is the big climax. Hope you don't mind if I fake it. The 1996 box office hit Scream became one of Wes Craven's most enduring slasher films. A story revolved around how Sidney Prescott and her friends struggled to uncover the killer's identity hiding behind a ghost face mask before he stabs all of them to death. <laughs> If that alone made your blood run cold, then just imagine the actual Florida murders the film was based on. In August of 1990, Danny Rawling was baptized the Gainesville Ripper after he murdered five students in Florida in a span of three days. Of course, we had a lot of law enforcement on the streets, but even if you put a, a cop on every corner, there's no guarantee we could prevent the next attack. Parking lots were literally filled with police cars that were out looking for the suspect. In his final moments in 2006, after being charged with five counts of first-degree murder, Rawling even broke into a song in front of 47 other people inside the witness room. I recall the day I first saw you. Are you getting goosebumps yet? Wait till you hear about our top pick. That's a doozy. Number seven, The Nightmare on Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. While nightmares can, in fact, be quite unnerving, you can hold on to the belief that they're going to end once you are jolted awake. But what if you get stalked or killed in your sleep by a fedora-wearing ghoul that looks like an avocado? had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. Wes Craven, who helmed the 1984 classic Nightmare on Elm Street, said that the plot of the film came to him after reading an article in the Los Angeles Times about a Cambodian family whose son struggled with vivid night terrors. The boy was so afraid that he tried to stay awake for days at a time. He even told his parents that if he slept, the thing chasing him would get him. And finally he fell asleep. Uh, and the family, you know, carried him up to his bed. And the accounts afterwards, we were all relieved and felt like finally he can rest and sleep. And they went to their own beds. He was just screaming, kicking on his bed. And by the time they got to him, he just fell silent and he was dead. Number six, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Aside from Freddy Krueger, the main villain from this 1974 horror flick has become one of our go-to last minute Halloween costumes. We all know him by his nickname, Leatherface, which comes from his obsession with wearing his victim's facial skin as masks. But I bet you didn't know that his character was loosely based on a real-life murderer from Wisconsin in the 1950s named Ed Gein, aka the Butcher of Plainfield. And I say loosely because while Ed Gein did wear a human's face, he actually didn't wield a chainsaw. What the police found instead inside his home were gross amounts of decapitated human body parts and human skin. Among the things they found were, were bowls that had been made from the tops of human skulls. And then they found what looked, looked like trinkets, but it was like a string of, of nipples from breasts. Okay, good luck on hearing that. Ed Gein's case was so bizarre and sensational that it also inspired another iconic movie character, Norman Bates, from the 1959 thriller Psycho. We all go a little mad sometimes. Haven't you? Number five, The Silence of the Lambs. This 1991 psychological thriller has earned the distinction of being the only horror movie to win the Best Picture Oscar. It also made Hannibal Lecter a household name. Tell me, Mom, when your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back 
to Baltimore. Directed by Jonathan Demme, the film is based on Thomas Harris's best-selling book, which was inspired by actual crime cases. The script of The Silence of the Lambs uses an amalgam of real-life FBI investigations to craft Buffalo Bill's composite character. For instance, it took inspiration from the case of serial killer Ted Bundy, who kidnapped, raped, and murdered numerous young women during the 1970s, and faked injuries to lure his victims in like Buffalo Bill. Please don't. I want to go home, please. Please don't. He places the lotion in the basket. Also influencing Buffalo Bill's demented character was Philadelphia murderer Gary Heidnick, who killed and tortured six victims in his basement between 1986 and 1987. He ran tape around our mouth and drove a screwdriver right in our ears and turned them. He wanted to have a perfect race, according to him, of children right. from these women. I don't know about you, but that just made me sick to my stomach. Ugh. Number four. It. No thanks to the 1990 miniseries and the 2017 movie adaptation of Stephen King's novel, It. I've sworn off clowns for the rest of my life. No, honey, we're not going to the circus. Stop bothering me. Can you smell the circus, Georgie? Directed by Andy Muschietti, the 2017 movie tells the story of seven children in Maine who are terrorized by the evil clown Pennywise as they face their own personal demons. For the longest time, people believed that Pennywise was inspired by the infamous American serial killer John Wayne Gacy, who dressed up and performed as Pogo the Clown at charity events and children's parties. Between 1972 and 1976, Gacy assaulted and murdered at least 33 young male victims and was sentenced to death on March 13, 1980. I think he's proud of the title that he's got of the, of the largest mass murder in the history of the United States. It's sick, but I think that he's proud of it. I think he took out his sexual fantasies on these boys. He, he accomplished his goal and then he murdered. However, Stephen King himself debunked the theory, claiming that Pennywise was actually inspired by other popular, more kid-friendly clowns like Ronald McDonald and Bozo the Clown. I don't know about you, but a clown by any other name would look as freaky. Number three, The Conjuring. Why don't you just leave us alone? Shut up, you old cow. Who are you calling old cow? The 2013 suspense horror flick The Conjuring follows paranormal investigator couple Ed and Lorraine Warren, who work together to help a family being terrorized by a dark presence in their farmhouse. He made me do it. Surprise, surprise! The Warrens are real-life paranormal researchers who founded the ghost hunting group called New England Society for Psychic Research, and the Perrins actually lived in a haunted 14-room farmhouse from 1971 to 1980. The children were badly affected, really badly affected. That was a terrible place, I mean, that was a very, very, very bad place. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, we got call Ghostbusters! Number two. Zodiac. This David Fincher helmed psychological thriller follows its star studded cast of detectives and journalists as they hunt down a serial killer in the San Francisco Bay Area who taunts police with his letters and cryptic messages. Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? The most chilling aspect of the movie's inspiration is that the identity of the real life Zodiac killer has been a decades long mystery, and the case remains to be one of the biggest unsolved crimes in the US. The unknown murderer, who operated in the late 60s to early 70s, killed five people, injured two others, and claimed to have 37 victims to his name. In 2014, a man named Gary Stewart wrote a memoir claiming his father might just be the elusive murderer. I knew from my mother's friends in the San Francisco Police Department that my father had a record that the SFPD said they would not share with me because what was in that file was so heinous it would destroy me. Gary claims he has also cracked the code on some of the Zodiac Killer's taunting letters, cards, and cryptograms. Ugh, that just gave me the creeps! 
Jeepers! Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, The Exorcist. Serial killers, evil clowns, and malevolent ghosts can scare us out of our wits, but a freaking demonic possession? That's an entirely different ball game, man. Oh, hell no! And when it comes to cinematic possessions, that iconic scene from the 1973 classic, The Exorcist, is still second to none. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And don't even get me started about that spider walk scene. <laughs> The Exorcist follows the possession of 12-year-old Reagan and her mother's attempts to rescue her through an exorcism conducted by two Roman Catholic priests. But what's even more frightening is the fact that it's based on the true story of a young boy possessed by a demon. William Peter Blatty, who wrote the film's screenplay, was first inspired by the 1949 real-life exorcism of a 14-year-old boy named Roland Doe. Blatty became fascinated with a Washington Post article with a headline that read, Priest Frees Mount Rainier Boy Reported Held in Devil's Grip. And that's how one of the best horror movies of all time came to be. And I'm that devil. Now kindly undo these straps. So, which of these movies once kept you up all night? Or maybe they still do? Let us know in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? The Scream Fest isn't over just yet. Don't miss our countdown of the 10 Asian horror movies you should watch before you die. Till then, stay fearless, Fagnatics, and see you in the next video. <laughs>